Hello there and welcome to my reaction to an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Revengers Part 1 by Max Sor. Finally the man did it. Him, the man listened to the popular demand, probably, I don't know if people asked him to it, to do this, but he put a lot of music from this game into, um, into every, he, oh, a lot of his videos at the very least. And uh, I'm excited as hell. To watch this, I'm recording this like after, right after the, a very good stream I had, so I'm my ho not hopes are high. My mood is quite nice, so it, this just got me excited. Battle Rising Revenge is one of my favorite games, just by the mu for the music alone, it's amazing. And because Maxor did a review for it, I must watch it. And because it's part one. Makes me even more excited because that means he went into, into a lot of depth or made a lot of jokes for it. And that's great. I also like skimmed through this Suffering of, of Obama, The Russian Connection, Breaking Bad, Family Guy, Funny Moments, and Funny Meme Man. I just. Okay, I can't wait to get into it. So, uh, if you want to help out the channel, there's a donation link in the description below. If you want to get videos early, there's a Patreon page. And if you don't want to do any of that, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. And let's begin. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one of my favorite games, besides Genshin Impact. Created as a spin-off, completely acclaimed to Metal Queer Solid 4, Guns of the Pirates. We are cast as Raiden, whose resume involves fighting the Illuminati and a bisexual vampire, trading off slow no? stealth gameplay and conference calls of an unspecified duration for pulse-pounding action gameplay, unique cutting mechanics, and the stupidest plot of any game since uh, the last one. You know, the one where Headache Kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave, now caught in yeah. a worldwide conspiracy had never played those. a destructive empire called the United States it's up to us to stop sending but like the plus of Metal Gear Rising is not I wouldn't call it super it's just very kind of basic and maybe even nonsensical in some moments but the plot is not the main appeal of the game if you if you will Wayne the Rock Johnson from Becoming Black fight cyborg dinosaurs controlled by orphans and fight a series of extremely online YouTube personas for such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and Markiplier. I'm gonna come find you. Set to the tune of a hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. And to complete yeah. our journey, we will have to resort to unrestricted brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human sized slap chop in between philosophy about the nature of conflict the morality of separating families the and the rules of and memes they made twitter into a plot point so if any of that yeah. interests you feel free to join me as the we dive memes. headlong it's into about the wonderful the madness of metal gear rising revan Gians. and the voices now mm -hmm. the memes is all about the memes is not my favorite phrase my favorite phrase is nano machine son <laughs> uh, it's not probably not going to be in the part one but i can't wait for it to happen they did. I can listen to this music forever, to the soundtrack. Oh, wait, does it say edited by Maxor? So he... I was thinking if he does his own editing or he has an editor to do it. If he does it he, himself, it's... Fucking give him a medal. So we boot up the game, but it doesn't support high resolutions. To fix this, we head to NeoGAF and download a virus. Now I can do any resolution. What amazing gameplay. Our story begins in the 2009 color scheme, with our hero Raiden protecting President Barfsack Crumbo. He's touring yeah. his birthplace of Kenya. I am uh, President United States Obama. Mr. President, you have dementia. Uh, drone strike the wedding. That can be arranged. He does have dementia, it's not Joe Biden. I'm sorry. The fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? I spent $3,000. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. I'll just have to give you a demonstration it then. It was a Wendy's. And now it's gone. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's half the man he once was. Oh, the music is so fucking good. Uh, my name is Obama. I have a uh, shit my doo doo ass. Don't worry, Obama. I want a fucking remaster of this game or a second game. I'll take a remake, but don't fuck it up. Don't change the music. Anyway, uh, I'll protect you from this sidewalk. I feel well. Wait, wait, the strong like to about it. you to the first enemy in the game. 
Yeah, goodbye. Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. This is the standout feature of the game. is an the understatement. Anything, and I do need anything. Nature, humans, telepathic traffic poles, a family of four, and even staircases that are required to progress the game. I, I think that's an oversight. Wait, really? This was groundbreaking stuff for the PS3. Use it I think you can points, jump on the wall. Use your enemies maybe. and prevent them from attacking or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, right? Most animals <laughs> deserve to be extinct. Where the fuck is Ryder? Hang on, I think I'm hearing a boss music yes you do uh dmc also has My quite good crashed. music i'm just gonna uh, run past wow. everyone uh joe biden please let me pass the health care health care you say i'm a specialist <laughs> ah, a new customer yes yes stupid caesar's big man let's hope obamacare covers euthanasia my name is Obama. I, uh... Shut up. <laughs> Stop right there. Put down President Bumcrack Osama. <laughs> I'll put him down, all right. But no, I have a giant robot. Federal agent spotted initiating. Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the tutorial boss. We're currently undergoing a learning experience. The one yeah. that we get with a giant laser. This is maybe the best game ever made. And although yes, the is yes, it may. Simple, might as well be. Makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. It's just a wonderful way to do it when you don't look like a cracked up rooster. Of course, <laughs> there's no need to worry because Raiden is fucking jacked. Yes, he is. And he's not even upgraded here yet. Mission accomplished. So Raiden runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. Uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, please join us. Why do our politicians hog all the good missiles? Obama! Your prime has expired, Raiden, but <laughs> so has his life. Nice. It's time for the next <laughs> boss fight. I say that sarcastically because most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised yeah. this is on the train instead of in front of it. <laughs> Face it, Jack. You can't even hold a sword. Or nine. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration. <laughs> but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. <laughs> I'm so giggly. I'm about to level up, Jack, and you look like just enough XP. Oh fuck, he's using bullets. Need a hand, right? And also, who am I? So long, Gabe <laughs> I'll be back. So, so at least two minutes uh, pass, and Ryden is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the. Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting me. Raiden, I'm playing Genshin Impact, but I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you can, can't you lend me a, a hand? I, I will surely stop collecting them. You have a problem. So after the roughest nah. plane ride since Delta, we head to a third world shithole known as Russia to find the men who killed President Bum. Hey, you calling Russia a shithole? Only Russians can do it. But I, but I allow it. I give you a... Russian shit hold card. Stack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins his yeah. journey by encountering the three helpless victims, knocking yes, them to the does. air and scooping out their spines like fucking ice cream. You see, <laughs> this is actually our primary method of healing, since every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. This is the yes, actual term used in the game. Just like exactly American the thing. football, the soldiers the of the music are does, fueled by does help. We, however, are fueled by violence. Oh, hang on one second, I've got a call. You should kill yourself now! <laughs> So anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, yeah. it's completely optional. So instead, we decide to fight the foot fetish tank. It's optional, It's but it's also incredibly fucking hard. Enemies can spot you from like a long distance away, even if they sometimes not looking at you. It's a bizarre like mission. I never was able to stealth my way through the whole thing. I don't think at least. And let I me tell you, this enemy is, is real fun to kill, especially considering their fucking jump speed. Man, there really is no time between these cutscenes. Oh fuck! What the dog no doing? First chin scratch. There are a lot of those. What the dog doing now? <laughs> What the fuck is a dog? You are such a fucking Philistine, Raiden. Wait, how do you know my name? I am pre-programmed with knowledge of everyone. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA, but my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never <laughs> eat peanut butter ever again. For our next battle, we have Blade Wolf. Jesus. And let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um time to learn. I uh, don't know what attack... 
a interesting tidbit. I beat the game when I first time beat the, uh, managed to beat the game. This was the most difficult fight because I didn't learn how to parry up to this point. And you know when I did learn how to parry? Fucking never! I beat the whole game without parrying once. It was hell. But because of the music, I was... I kept going on. I couldn't fucking stop. Mm, but that experience is just... It's like... I don't know, I didn't have a leg to stand on. And I just d decided not to use crutches and just went with my day. It was incredibly fucking painful. But I somehow beat it Accesses. and felt like an idiot to find out about fairies. Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Now with the power of Jesus and all I might have parried Blade Wolf to a kill shelter, but like accidentally. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. Somehow, I've arrived at the Bitcoin factory. I've been moderating you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you had a boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my God, she spoke to me. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on Twitch. Now sufficiently disturbed, Raiden moves on That's to Amber the Ren. best level in the game using my favorite mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and you yeah. better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with zero degree vision. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. <laughs> Oh Fucking my dumbass. god, it's a woman. Please stop that. I've been waiting for you, Raiden. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus29 for the donation. Please stay back. Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> that can be arranged. Welcome to oh. the world's first boss fight, where you the battle is against the sub, controller. Provided, of course, that I don't throw that shit against a wall. In this confrontation, we fight the dark-skinned tomboy GF that I've always dreamed of, juggling and slaughtering yeah, several varieties of the <laughs> hottest Bakugan. If I were forced to describe the experience, it would be Poggers or Orly. perhaps Papega, especially after Raiden achieves the miracle of flight. <laughs> that's that's. That's the best description of a situation you could have, you could ever have. When you fire the animators, but despite some up. of the occasional frustration, this battle is one of the best. Plus, I uh, I yeah. like it when women hit me. Oh, the same. Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. Yeah. Yes. Like you literally froze her ass. In life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. Who is that? I don't know who that is. I don't know. I don't understand the reference. Totally weird, champ. Is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster, but no matter. Is that the bad thing? You will never find our secret base at 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These are the coordinates. God damn, I'm turned on. Right, we need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm... Uh, I, I'm in a Chinese factory. Now equipped with a solid lead for what his MMP Rising Revengeance 2013 video game. It's up to Sonic the Edgehog to make his way to the city yeah. of Mexico. Complete with his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine and a stolen Mercedes. And a sneaky Are outfit. Are wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Your destination is on the right. And that's an unlockable suit as well. Now it's time for Raiden and his small pit bull to make their descent into Fallout 3. Hey, what's up gamers? Yeah. Maxor here, and today we're gonna be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my eyes. <laughs> what's up gamers? It's Maxor here. And today we are being beat to death by a group. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. That's actually kind of it, a cool a enemy. Weird to fight. That we're having more trouble with Harari when you know how to parry. Robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon fan after ripping out his organs. Thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God! It's a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. <laughs> oh good, new enemies. I was just about to run out of those. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me. It's all right. I don't have a Twitter account. You speak English? What the fuck is he saying? <laughs> Can you repeat that? <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I love that he has two versions of subtitles. The kid. Uh, for what he says, and then for for the translation to, to a human language about 
what he says. What a McDonald's does after abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able yeah, to play the much. rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous well-known video game series called yeah. Smash Brothers. That's Wario Snake. He also attacks by farting. Now you two can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh fuck. Let's just move on. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion. For two minutes, in that time, it's up to Raiden yeah. to escort an entire congregation to meet God. Stealth is of course optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading to the confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. Slap your trouble, boy. Slap your I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this game for a while, play some good old Gary's mod. We get a call from Boris. John Brothers? Chichis? For a while, play some good old Gary's mod. Oh, and Paimons. Okay. But we get a call from Boris Fair enough. Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the US government and spy on the bad guys' webcams before selling them crack. Their evil and no? dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass. Then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military but instead of selling a boston dynamics dog like normal people they figured the best way to create a robot army was to consult mr epstein so with our next target identified we advance further until we find the giant robot and if this hallway has anything to say about it we're in for a fun boss fight right in endures eight hours of being stunned before playing his reverse uno card and trapping it in a corner for up uh, two minutes dicing up his yeah. armor and clapping him faster than that family on the highway in my fourth have a boss Don't fight, worry, but just a like basic it. enemy in the next mission. Oh my Could god, I can't holder. possibly cut through glass. Stop right there, Raiden, or I'll blow this child. Who is that? His head. <laughs> I'll blow his head open. Oh, wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. Children are in danger. Do you know what a gun does? What's a gun? <laughs> So at least nine seconds after the the inside Lamao. is driving to hell, all the while taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. Oh sweet, my programming is on. Super Idol de Charo, domain. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially the police. <laughs> Raiden evades the evil forces of big sobriety as they attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver, careening through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering the police budget. Skip it about and that and showing off his toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. I was just so busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. We are now forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and police are influenced by corporations, specifically the corporation that we've come to volunteer for blood donations. Although Joe Raiden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military-grade Roombas. Raiden heads into an office through the organs of an officer and inside the biggest elevator ever made we take yeah. it down the hard way also they forgot to limit my turn speed there's even a subway section with this cool new enemy that i've never seen before i don't think anything can ruin this what's up gamers god damn it let me tell you something important right it's actually a pretty cool segment and a beta male cuck i'm only here to dispense justice that's cringe jack and your setup is weak you can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now? It's all about the memes, all Jack. Murder, and you still aren't based. You bastard. Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Oh my god, it's the cringe name, hey baby. Stop right there. What the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No. <laughs> Stop. That he even has a fake chin. <laughs> You see now, Jack. How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? I have the doom music as well. No fun. My so fucking god, Max so fast I love you. Steaming, Raiden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my editing, which affects his movement slightly. <laughs> now emotionally compromised, we head through the mandatory stealth section. You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that I'm a big fan. What? My name is Monsoon of the Sussy Imposters. I want the, the Sussy Imposters. 
please stop. <laughs> no. This boss was also a pain in my first playthrough. Because I couldn't parry shit. You can't really attack him. So I had to... I think I had to use the grenades, maybe? I don't remember, but I it took a while for me to beat him. A little trolling, Jack. First time you're around. In the land of the free, after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the civil war was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Is it gonna show it? All pawns controlled Look to the right. Look to the right. No. The DNA of the soul. They are. Yeah, the guy playing with the cat. Cloud. How about full of shit? It's just is that a like a random thing that you can easily miss, miss and uh, actually I've seen somebody play through the game and they didn't do they didn't look to the right, they just were neither didn't move the camera because they thought there was a cutscene or just moved it to see the guy who's talking. Meme. No, it fucking isn't you amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. You're I don't know right. why that cat about is there, me, but it's I mean, a cool addition. I thought I could be just like you, but that is a mistake. Perhaps I am cringe, but that makes me free. That's sus. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my cringe inhibitors. But right, and you'll lose subscribers. Do it. Okay. <laughs> I was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you can just log off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shitty posts is a long way off. That's rich coming from the likes of you. Family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and how? sex on TV. Using his Just fucking how? How does he come up with all this shit? The Monsus battle bus? Is that what that battle was? Bus. Yeah. Mon Monsus battle bus. Yeah, yeah. Just how? I want to make a video like this, but I think I'll have an aneurysm trying to. Not even by the time I was, I'll be finished, but I'll like fucking make a first minute of it. I'll have an aneurysm. Jesus. Violent rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV, using his good old-fashioned values upon which he used to rely. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at average speed before a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation 1. Monsoon can fucking teleport. Yeah. He throws helicopters for fun, and his preferred yeah. method of dodging is self bisection. He knows he's the like buggy from One Piece. Sonic OC, and you know what? I fucking dig it. Jack, ever been to the Washington Monument? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I spent four days editing that. Now excuse me as I take I, this call. I am not surprised. Actually, four days sounds... Like a quick job of that fucking edit. Jesus Christ. Memes. You are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, because your memes end here. Oh. It's so fucking good. Oh my god. What is this? Jim Shit Rossi, you want to watch this video but again? Who's Jimmy T. Ross? <sighs> the next part is gonna be amazing. Because starting with Monsoon, I think the game just becomes even more fucking fun except for some sections but the boss fights at least ah i can't wait i don't know how long it's gonna take him maybe he edited like them both and gonna release them one by one with some timing or maybe he, we're gonna have to wait until he edits it so i see you in a month i guess 
but it's totally worth it. Like, Maxor is one of my favorite fucking channels. I'm kind of glad I didn't f know about him before I started doing reactions, and then... I don't even know how much volume that... Was volume peaking at any point? Was there a problem with volume? I hope not. Because I just got into it and I didn't check anything. <sighs> I'm such a simp for Maxor. Anyway, that's besides any point. Uh, thank you, anybody who watched this. I appreciate it a lot and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Have a great life. Because one of us has to.